Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Because I found that's a problem with my girls. But sure. like, I don't want to pass, she's not a well, yeah. reliable pass. When they are reliable pass, um, the cue that I give my offense is the best way to score is when defense is in a chaotic state. So, when defense is not in a chaotic state, everybody's marked up there man to man, right? You yeah. know exactly what's going on. As soon as there's more than one player, more than one defender on an offender, defense is in a chaotic state. And that is the opportunity to score with whoever is not in the in the commotion of the play. Sure. Um, I have a player right now on my team who she really would like to score, but she's not quite got the speed to get there yet. So I told her, I want you to drive, intentionally get that double team, because then you're doing a service for the player that you're going to pass to. Um, then it becomes a little bit more of a team aspect of, I'm, I'm helping you get open so I can pass you the ball as opposed to our state of the ball. I go the ball. They get the double team, they get the triple team. <laughs> they get the quadruple team. And also, they, I mean, I, it's, I just got to get him to think I've got to get rid of the ball. Yeah. I don't know if you could, like, reward him for assists. I know. I know. It's interesting because thought, so. the more lacrosse that I've watched, um, especially on the NCAA level, lacrosse has gone through these weird trends where it was a one-on-one -on -one game. Like, when I played in college mm, eight years ago, it was one-on-ones, like you went one-on-one, -on -one, and usually offense was better than defense. And then for like a three-year, three or four-year stint in there, it was all about passing. Like, how can we make this the prettiest thing? I'm going to draw a double and pass the ball. If you watch the NCAA film from last year, which was Maryland versus Boston College, it's one-on-one, -on -one, which is interesting to me. Like, they've gone back to this one-on-one -on -one style of just trying to beat your defender. Uh, I don't think that works necessarily in youth because defense does tend to get ball vision where all seven of your defenders will go with the ball, even if she's not driving. <laughs> you know? um, I don't know. What do you, what do you try? That's, you know, three steps. counting, three steps, yeah. count to five, pass the ball. What about the number of passes? I mean, when we're beating teams, a lot will say oh, yeah. you have to have X number of passes. No, but this is in, in, in a usual game situation oh, yeah. where where they just get fixated on the goal. Yeah. And there's, you know, there's four defenders between them and the goal. Yeah. And even though there's four defenders there, everybody else is wide open. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's usually there's some bad, you know, bad apples that do it more than others. But sure. other people are just like, open your eyes. Yeah. You know, Does that happen in practice too? Not as bad. Because I actually, I'm but so excited to try this with my girls and watch them look like I have two heads. I want to play hot potato with them. Where literally if the music goes off while you're holding the ball, you're out. So the idea is that you, of course, you have to carry the ball. You have to touch it at some point. Sure. But you have to get rid of it or you're done playing. Does that make sense? Um, like that. that might I help them. I know, I can't make sure of this. I told them that the other day and they're like, are you serious? Like musical chairs, anyone? Um, I think what that would really facilitate, though, is then if they're out, and not that you want to punish them for being a ball carrier, you hate ball carriers, but if they're out for those couple of seconds, they don't even get to touch the ball. Well, let me, let me finish it up. Yeah. They're ball carriers, they drop the ball. Oh, so they're not scores. That's true. They're so not they're, they're, ball, they're ball carriers, not scores. Yeah. Then I would totally do yeah. something like that, where if you don't pass the ball, in this practice situation, just to encourage this, you can't you can't hold on to the ball, you can't pass it, okay. or you don't play. That's a good idea. Yeah, but of course, at a young age, you don't want. Uh, personally, I wouldn't um, recommend saying if you don't pass the ball, I'm pulling you out. Does that make sense? Like, especially in those really little ages, you don't want. No, this is seven. It's not first, third, fourth. Okay. So they're, they play for a while. Gotcha. They're not new to the idea of no. team okay. teaching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my recommendation. Yeah. Should try to pass it. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one you could do, you said you did the three steps. I did. Um, we do with our team sometimes where we play ultimate cross, where you can only take three steps and then you have to pass the ball, which is uh, beneficial for them to recognize they can't go to goal if they can only take three steps. They have to look for their teammates because that's all that's all they're allowed is those three steps. But we do it in a, in a, in a pretty tight space. Sure. So that they, if, <laughs> If they take those three steps, then they stop and they don't look for that pass quickly, the defense is on. Yeah. And then they don't have the luxury of 
being able to try and run around the defense like you're planted. So you either find that pass and you just sit here and go like this until you drop the ball and then Yeah. It seems like that would encourage them to be looking up to have their heads out yeah. looking to yeah. use everything. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. That is a hard one. It's a hard one. I feel like in every sport that's a hard one. Having teams yeah. with other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just thought maybe having like Oh, I wish. I wish. Defense is my strong foot, not offense. So if I think of one, I'll let you know. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really Thanks awesome. very much. You're welcome. I think um, they told me they're going to, I guess other teams can look at it if they want. They're going to post it on YouTube, I think. Cool. Um, my contact info, I always forget to put these in the slides. If you want the PowerPoint for me, I'm more than happy to share it. Um, my email, I just want to email me and I can send it to you. Don't make fun of my handwriting, my girls do all the time. <laughs> it's just BYU Lacks. BYU doesn't give you an email address? So they added us later to <laughs> all the other teams. I know, they're all BYU.edu. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> You didn't remember? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? It's almost like the men's I'm pretty sure the men's is like, I think it's lacrosse dot, or at byu.edu. So it's almost the same thing. Yeah. They love us, but you know, they've got their, they've got their stipulations. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but last, just out there, if you ever want to come watch practice just to see how your yes. kids do that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I had, um, they didn't bring their whole team because they practice in the morning. Uh, what time? <laughs> 6 to 7.45. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, we did have girls come though. They brought like their, their seniors, of course. They brought, I think it was Pleasant Grove a couple of years ago. They brought a couple of their girls and just came and observed. Do you guys play in Utah State this year or, you, or do they go to you guys? Um, they're coming to us this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um, we're going to them for regionals. Okay. So I should put this up there too. If you want to, if you want to watch us play, our whole entire schedule is on um, our website. This one is. BYU. Just women's across at um, We play every team in Utah. So we play UVU, Weaver, Westminster, University of Utah, Utah State. It's kind of a fun way to see all the different teams yeah. and their, their strides and stuff like that. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, of course. <laughs>
which yeah, totally makes totally yeah. sense. Um, yeah. But they don't have a lacrosse team. Mm -hmm. So the difference, I think, was because they're a first year school. Yeah. And they don't have a lacrosse team. Yeah. Like, but the bummer is like, if a lot of girls come from there, then the next, next year, year we're starting from scratch again. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I feel like high school is starting from scratch. I don't know how like Park City does it, or I don't know the amazing pairman that pulls from such. I, I don't know. I think it's um, I mean, just that awesome youth teams. Youth. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Is yeah. that it's definitely just like the, yeah. the youth. Well, you have to. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, like, uh, I mean, this is a personal <laughs> personal thought into the future. I, I wonder. Because a lot of schools have wanted teachers to be the coaches, yeah, that's which is right. also I, makes yeah. sense. But they don't, they don't think before they yeah. so they don't. Yeah. And then which the powerhouse fun. programs, I feel like, are just have a lot of parent support uh -huh. and youth programs that will sustain them yeah. through those couple of years of like everybody figuring it out. Uh -huh. So well, that's like, what to you. right. But even like, so the other day we were, I was talking to um, one of our neighbors who, she told me about Little Peak, and they're having practice every day already. Yeah. You know, they have they're not going to be, well, they, they're sanctioned. Can yeah, you yeah. start in, you can't start, I thought, until like. So you can't have, March there's like a moratorium oh, for yeah. two weeks before two tryouts. Weeks. Yeah, in between that, it's like great. Between the beginning of the year and the moratorium, you can have practice, but then those two weeks before, you can't have like any contact, and then tryouts and the rest of the semester. But like, I think these big teams like are already. Oh, totally. Practice, like, I don't know how they don't get burned out. That's oh, the, the problem. Oh, that's a whole entire sports specific. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, with college sports, you have to go like all year round. And all totally and tough. Well, and Michael's burned out. Yes, I burned out. Totally. That's why I was like, you know, part way through the season when you're like, I'm going to do it. What are you doing? It's like, oh, it's that. Yeah, it's that every day. Opportunity for players to like that are going to play in college and stuff. So now I feel like it makes sense. Whereas before it was just kind of like, nobody's going to play college. Yeah. 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 It's true. It's tough. It is. It is. Because yeah. I grew up playing soccer and lacrosse, and then I, that's great. Jordan's changing up. Um, well, we'll come see you. Okay. That'd be great. Good luck, Vicky. Hey, thank you. Yeah, we'll see you. See ya.